channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Waldorf Inspired Roots. Today we're doing a little bit different kind of video. As you can see, my son is swimming in the bathtub today. He got a new pair of goggles that he loves, but it's a little bit too cold and the weather's not quite right to start putting our kiddie pool up yet. So uh, we've been letting him uh, swim in the bathtub. <laughs> so this is going to be more of a vlog style video, but I really wanted to share some of our bath toy collection. And um, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do that. So um, he has some toys in there right now, but I did want to share um, if you've already um, if you've been watching my channel for um, you know any amount of time now, you probably have seen that we don't really uh, have very many or, or any really plastic toys. The only thing um, that we have that's an exception to that are Legos um, or Duplos and Mr. Potato Head. Other than that, um, we're a Waldorf inspired family. I also draw some inspiration from um, the Montessori philosophy a little bit. Um, but I prefer natural toys, uh, more eco-friendly toys, um, and things that uh, we really cherish. So we really do a lot of wooden toys and natural material toys. Uh, so, but the other exception to that is our bath toys. Careful. Um, so the bath toys, the, the, the main brand that we have for bath toys are green toys. And this is an example of that. This is the Sea Copter. Now, the green toy brand we love uh, for bath toys and for pool toys because they are plastic, but they are made from 100% recycled milk jugs. And they are a number two plastic. I believe it says somewhere on here, but I'm not sure. Yeah, down here. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but it does say the number two in down here, which is one of the safest plastics. It is food grade plastic um, because it's from the milk jugs. And the other thing that we like is that all of the pieces snap apart and you can put them in the dishwasher. And they don't use um, any metal or screws or anything like that. Everything is put on um, kind of with, like with a snap system. And so everything can snap off. Um, when they're brand new, the first time you snap them off, they're a little trickier, I find, to snap off, but they're really not that hard. Um, and then, you know, this, you put them in the dishwasher and so, you know, it, it'll avoid growing mold. The other thing is, is that they have, in particular with their water toys, they have a really good vent, uh, ventilation system, so they dry out really good and really easily. And um, so, and my son loves these. This one in particular came with a little, um, a little character that sits in there. Uh, and so he loves these. So this is one of our green toys options. You want to play with your sea copter? You want the other piece? You can have it. You want the ball? Okay. Let me close this side for a minute. And so one of the other toys, it's very wet. <laughs> uh, but one of the other toys that he has is this... Um, I forget what it's called. I will link all these below though. Uh, it's also by Green Toys and it does float and um, it has this handle and so it's really good for scooping up water. So when you scoop it up, you can pour the water and it would come out. And again, it does have moving pieces, but it's all snapped together and it does, you can see the snaps on the underside. Um, but yeah, so it just snaps apart in the dishwasher. And, but again, this one has full, there's no, nothing where water would get trapped in it to, to form that mold, but you can fully see inside. So you, you know that you feel safe that there's no mold in there. Now, hey buddy, do you want to hand me all these pieces? Can you hand me these ones? Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna get so soaking wet <laughs> doing this. Um, so this is another one. Now, we, my son doesn't really watch TV. Occasionally he'll watch a Disney movie. Um, but, um, and then the other thing that he started watching at my friend's house and at my mother-in-law's house that he has fallen in love with, he, he loves Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and the Mickey Mouse Roadster Racers. And so, uh, we have started buying him the occasional character thing because we know how much he loves it. Uh, so this is the Mickey Mouse. It's also by Green Toys. Um, and so it's also the number two plastic, fully dishwasher safe. Um, but it's just a little stacking toy. And he likes it. You don't have to use this one in the bathtub, but he loves it in the bathtub because, um, you know, the, the little cups are good for the scooping and things like that. And so they fully come apart. It is very wet. <laughs> uh, so that's that one. And this is, um, I, I believe it's just called the Mickey Mouse Stacker, but I'll link it below. Now, the next toy that I'm going to share is actually not from Green Toys. Uh, this is a new toy that we just picked up and um, it is by a company called Haba. Now, <clears throat> this one is not recycled plastic that I know of, but we do like this company. They actually make a lot of um, wooden toys as well, and we do like this company um, for their wooden toys. So I did go ahead and pick this up. The reason why I was okay with this one is because after researching it, um, and going on their website and, and things. This is made from, it's ABS plastic, but it's food grade ABS plastic. And then it's steel something. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that in the description box below too. But it's a specific kind of food grade ABS plastic that they use. And it is phthalate, BPA, PVC, and um, lead free. So it's very safe. And and there is the silicone on the, you know, for the suction cups. But what this does, and I'll just kind of, it's meant to be in the bath, but <laughs> I'm just gonna stick it on here. Um, so you just kind of stick them on kind of like that. And then it has a scooper that you could put water down or you could do the ball and we'll do the ball. Let's see if I set it up right now. <laughs> okay, let's try again. <laughs> okay. Yay, kind of, <laughs> but you get the idea. So these he would put on the inside and um, he's able to make it kind of a ball run, which he loves. You want these back? You want them on this side? Yeah. Here, I'll let you put them up. Here's your scooper. And I'm gonna put this back this way, okay? So that was the Haba ball run, bath ball run. The next thing that I wanna show you is something that we also just got not too long ago and we love it. So it's by Pluey and it is a little rain cloud and I'm going to show you how it works. So you put it in the water and then there's a hole at the top that you can put your hand over and then there's all the little holes. And when you release your finger, it rains and then you can cover the hole again and it'll stop. And he absolutely loves this, but you can see the hole um, at the top that you put your finger over, and he loves it. Um, so that's that. The last toy that I'm gonna share with you are actually by Melissa and Doug, and we don't buy a whole lot of Melissa and Doug. We do in our Dramatic Play Center because we love their costumes um, and some of their play food. We do a little bit, but we got these bath foam animals and they actually have several sets i believe they have a mermaid set they've got um the zoo animal set that we picked up i think that there's some ocean animals but the thing that i liked about these some of theirs look like cartoons and then some of them 
our pictures. And these ones in particular were the pictures of the real animals. So we've got the giraffe and the tiger and the elephant and the cheetah. And so we've got all these little animals and I'll just kind of run through and show you some of them. And so Bo, Zebra, Lala, we have so many, the brown bear, uh, penguin, alligator, um, toucan, lion. So these, when you get them wet, um, they are supposed to be able to stick to the side of the um, tub, or if you have a glass surface. So I'm gonna put these in there with him. There's all your animals, buddy. Okay, and so the last thing I'm gonna show you is what we hold all of our toys in. So this is from um, Ubi, U-B-B-I. Whoa, I felt that all the way over here, buddy. <laughs> um, and so it's www.ubiworld.com. Again, I'll link it below though. If you keep this next to your tub, it does have the tray that would keep the floor from getting wet when this drains, but it still has enough Base. I don't know if you can see the distance between the bottom of this because this does have feet and so it holds it up enough that if you did have anything drain it's still going to allow it to you know adequately drain to avoid mold and, and mildew and things from forming. We typically keep this under our sink at the moment and we aren't using it um, because we do keep, we have a big enough ledge on the inside that we can just set this in there and let it fully drain and dry out uh, nicely. And uh, we noticed when we had this part in our tub, it would fill up from our shower. And so we'd have to empty it every time. So we just keep this in our, um, you know, on the ledge and it sits there. I'll actually show you. It can fit in any of our corners and it fits perfectly. And um, so we just have it in the corner and we fill up his toys with it. But if you needed your toys to be set outside of your tub, you could have this outside of it. And after you scoop up all the toys, you know, you could just kind of give it a little shake, let it get some of the water out and then set it in there. Now, the other thing that I like is that it does have a fun smiley face, but it actually serves a purpose. So you can use your hand like this and then you could just kind of go along your bathtub and scoop up all your toys that way. Um, which I think is a really clever, you know, scooping mechanism to make it a little easier for cleanup time. So um, that's that. And I believe that's all the things that I was gonna share with you. That's all of our bath toys. And uh, yes, yeah, so this was fun. <laughs> Uh, this video was kind of to take a little bit of a break. I've been posting a lot of curriculum videos and I hope you guys are enjoying those. But I also wanted to share with you some of our toy options and we are going to be bringing home our baby bunnies. Um, I believe this week we will announce when we bring our baby bunnies home what we decided to name them and it is off of recommendations from mostly from Instagram comments of people who follow us on Instagram um, and I can link my Instagram account below but it is Waldorf Inspired Roots uh, the same as this channel so uh, anybody who's commented on there, if any of you have commented on there, that's where we're pulling the names from because they haven't gotten enough uh, you know, comments or whatever on the video, you know, asking to help name our baby bunnies. We are gonna share some um, videos of what their hutch looks like, which we've been building ourselves, And I haven't really filmed a whole lot of that, unfortunately. <laughs> um, we've been a little bit too busy and I just haven't figured out um, a good time to film, but I will take pictures of the hutch that we built and include, um, you know, clips of that and stuff and then clips of our bunnies in their new hutch when we bring them home. So that video should be coming out sometime at the end of next week or the beginning of the following. So yeah, I look forward to that and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love to hear any feedback in the comment section below. And also, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.